Hey, it's Tom. I've had another question come in from an LP Times slash YouTube visitor. And the question is, how can I use NLP effectively? That's a great question. In terms of using NLP and the process of NLP, there's a, you know, you could write books and I could do um, an entire course on different ways you can use NLP effectively. But what I want to give you is three useful strategies, three different approaches in terms of using NLP effectively. The first is in order to be able to use it effectively, you have to have the competency and skill with it. So that means practicing. If you want to be able to use it effectively, you've got to be able to use it well in the first instance. So build strong foundations. If you're not familiar with, for example, the NLP tote model, if you're not familiar with the strategies model, if you're not familiar with um, how to be able to use language and causal language and being able to use presuppositions skillfully and artfully, then I would highly encourage you to review the practitioner material or check out NLP Times. Uh, we have a course there called the Platinum Audio News Club. It's a monthly NLP course and it'll teach you tons of useful content on how to be able to use NLP really well. So basic thing is no matter what your context or what source of information you're relying on in terms of to improve your NLP is, become really skilled and competent with the foundation uh, of the technology in terms of the core foundational skills, state management, working with the, with the NLP totes, working with language, working with the strategy model, the meta model. Now, I understand you may not yet have the experience depending on you at home in terms of what level and how much experience you've had learning NLP, but take whatever you do know right now and it might only be, look, I know how to uh, manage my state. You know, if that's the case, then become really good at managing your state because state, your state affects everybody else's state as well or can do. So it's a really useful skill to have. So start with wherever you are and just get really good at that. Practice that one thing, whatever it is that you know, and keep doing it over and over until you're able to do it automatically and unconsciously effectively where you're able to produce a specific result on cue when you want it. So the second step is that once you've got the basics or as you're getting the foundational skills of NLP wired up and that you're learning the various models, etc., is apply NLP on yourself. By that I mean is use the process of NLP to improve your own life first. That's a huge way if you want to look at how to use NLP effectively is so many people, they go on a course or they read something about NLP and they want to change everybody else's life. And that's great. You know, it really is good that you want to help other people. And I too have, you know, when I first started out learning NLP, and I think most people who come into the field are really interested in using the technology to be able to improve our own lives and also lots of other people's as well. But one of the cool ways and one of the ways you can get the biggest result is use the process of NLP to improve your own life. So, you know, look at the areas of your life, for example, relationships, might be health and fitness, it might be wealth and finance, career, and look at how you can use the process of NLP and the mindset and the overall methodologies and, and uh, models that are taught within the field of neurolinguistic programming to improve your life. Pick one area, something not huge and traumatic necessarily right away. Again, if you don't have a lot of experience, I would recommend you seek out a suitably trained um, change agent who can help you with that. But certainly in terms of an initial uh, thing might be that you find you get ready with your partner or it might be that uh, when you're in a work context, you uh, blush before you speak, or it may be that um, in a business context that you feel you can't ask for X amount of money or whatever, you've got these thoughts and ideas going on in your head. Wherever you feel that you're being limited uh, or that you feel that you're not showing up at your best, then pick that one area that you'd really like to work on Look at the various books and resources that are out there in terms of applying particular processes of NLP on yourself and then continue it until you get the result. And then once you've got that particular area, for example, if it's around the frustration, okay, instead of frustration, you know, with your partner, you find that actually what you want to get is being tolerant, calm, joyful, whatever it is. And once you've got that going for you and there's lots of ways you can get that wired up, then choose another area of your life where you'd like to use the technology. So they're the first two ways. One, saying get really good with foundations. Two, uh, look at an area of your life where you'd like to improve, use the process on yourself. The third way to use NLP effectively is when you're relating with others. Use what you know, regardless of what skill level you're at, 
to improve uh, your relationships with other people. The quality of the experiences you create with other people. Bring energy to what you're doing. A master trainer, Michael Green, has a very good um, heuristic, a uh, kind of rule of thumb that he applies uh, to all different contexts and recommends for his students, and that is bring 5%, 5% more energy to the context. When you meet somebody for a first time, you elevate your energy 5% more than where they're at. You constantly lift in terms of your energy and also in terms of your enthusiasm, your commitment, whatever it is, the 5% rule, and you can check out uh, the channel at YouTube or at nlptimes.com, we've got a video of Michael sharing that 5% rule. But it's a fantastic way to, again, use NLP effectively. It's a very simple heuristic. You don't even necessarily need a lot of skill to do it. But by doing that, you can have a big impact on other people's lives. Other ways you can use this effectively is depending, again, where you are, what skill level you're at, is uh, using what you know to help other people solve problems, overcome challenges, and get the results that they want in their life. The only thing I'd mention in terms of with that is make sure that when you use NLP, you're using it to, uh, as a uh, tool in terms of for relating and engaging with other people, not as you doing NLP on somebody else, or thinking just because you know a few processes and you've done a couple of things that you're better off, uh, or you're more superior or more intelligent or any of this. There's a lot of people in NLP that I've seen on forums and, and various questions that have been posted and it seems more about how I can use what I know to impress you about how brilliant I am and to show you what a um, not such a smart individual you are or whatever. And that stuff is just kind of childish, to be honest, and nonsense. So if you use the technology effectively, it means that you use it to benefit other people. And also, that means that you've got their permission to do so. You don't just barge in just because you can help. You offer your help. If people want to accept it, that's cool. If they don't, they don't. It's their choice. Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you have a particular question about NLP, NLP applications, or anything else that I've discussed, then please uh, subscribe to my videos on YouTube. Uh, check out and register at nlptimes.com. And I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.